March 4, Wednesday of the first week of Lent. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of his generation, and she will condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord The Sign of Jonah The setting of the Gospel is the context of Jesus' contemporaries asking for some spectacular sign that will prove that He is sent by God and thus provide a motive for them to believe in Him. Jesus challenges them to have the same faith response as the people of Nineveh to Jonah's preaching and the same reaction manifested by the Queen of the South to Solomon's wisdom. In short, these Old Testament figures believed, repented, and changed their way of life. During this blessed season of Lent, we are invited to believe Jesus is the true God-given sign of our salvation. Thus, in faith, we will repent, surrender to God, and renew our hearts. Repentance is a continuing growth process as we more deeply appreciate God's tender love for us. Authentic renewal means constantly, not only during Lent, deepening a relationship with Jesus, surrendering to His generous mercy. What are those aspects of my life that need change and renewal? Am I willing to surrender them to God's power and tender embrace of love?